All right, so this is the only thing that my camera will really pick up on is the moon. I can turn around here and show you the reflection of the moon in the grill of my Ford, and you can kind of see the, the corn crib there illuminated in the light, which is good. What you're going to have a hard time seeing is the horizon, but we're going to try. I think actually that's, this is more visible than the front-facing camera. So what you're seeing is the northern skyline. And you may notice over here, oh yeah, I think those vertical wisps may be visible. Uh, there is no cloud deck, it's clear and starry, but these wisps are falling uh, from, I'm presuming, a high altitude. Uh, not a whole lot going, little kind of halo haze, but nothing super crazy over on this direction. Um, to the east, not visible at this time, are clouds. Um last day or two there have just been consistently large pile clouds to the east of the Mississippi. So then what we've got here if you can see uh, the windmill should be center frame just beyond that to the east is uh, the thicker part of the cloud formation that is making its entire way very faintly over to here and it's dissipated and will soon surely reform because it's that thing that I keep showing on videos. While that's happening, you may notice if there's any view here of the horizon to the north, a uh, slight green glow and some flashes. This one there a moment ago. Um, I don't know if that's lightning or what. It is clear sky. There are stars visible to me through the trees. But what is also going on there is uh, Aurora Borealis. The prediction line for a slight or small chance goes all the way down to the uh, U.S.-Canada border and likelihood into the yellow on the prediction map means a lot more likelihood in the northern latitudes. So there are going to be some times as we are currently having a geomagnetic storm, possibly a CME impact as well as a solar flare may go off at the same time. While the oh, there was a good flash. That's auroral. Um, you can see there by the windmill base at the tree line, if that's visible through the contrast, that it does get slightly brighter. There is uh, something brighter in the distance there, visible through the leg of the, move over to the side. Definitely brightening, I'm really not sure. I'm hoping this picks up. Uh, the phi angle of the uh, sector boundary for the sun's magnetic field that we're passing through has been down for all day. Uh, and we are apparently in the perfect position for a lot of auroral activity. So if you're seeing a low light contrast between the lower part of the screen with the trees, the upper part with the sky, and some other tree line for reference here. Uh, you will see some brightening in the sky in places where there is definitely no clouds, no city lights. And in fact, right now it's all getting pretty bright and hazy. And that's not cloud, that is aurora. You can see stars through it and it's reaching straight up. I believe this is the first time I've clearly seen green auroral light uh, in the northern sky in Iowa, so. Yeah, I just thought I would document this. Got Aurora, we got some crazy haze going on.
still going on. Clear sky and stars, not that you can probably see much of it. You might be able to see what I think might be serious. Wildlife runnings in my yard, too. It's not quite as bright as it was. It comes and goes. It's an interesting thing, like uh, a lot of the imagery you see is done with uh, time-lapse photography and long exposure to get a lot of light. It's a very dim phenomenon, and so the best I'm going to see with the naked eye or an attempt to record is there's going to be some kind of uh, almost indistinct but definitely discernible changes in brightness. Um, I think there was some pink going on there with the uh, base of the windmill and I don't know there's just some indistinct uh, blurry blotches of not quite as dark in the sky if that makes any sense and uh, these are not uh, pareidolia or hallucination or anything. It's just these cosmic rays moving in magnetic field lines, and these are not things we are meant to perceive directly. We're seeing the fluorescence of uh, air molecules in the atmosphere to the north, and it illuminates. But how it illuminates is so faint that without a long exposure and a time lapse, you're not going to see those big sheety curtain things quite the same. In some cases, you will, but uh, sometimes they're fleeting. It's not something that necessarily just, uh, you know, hangs out in the sky like it seems like it's this thing just floating, like it's going to be dancing and moving. And uh, at this latitude, with trees in the way, all you're likely to see is some flashing and some brief changes in luminosity in a direction where there is no light source other than the aurora. All right, well, that's what I got. This is going to take forever to upload. This has been Night Sky Observations in the Dark with the Kiosk.